after a busy morning touring Sydney's Taronga Zoo, the Harbour and the Opera House, it was back to Admiralty House for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who changed for the occasion. Swapping her white Karen G dress for a stunning forest green shirt gown by American designer, Brandon Maxwell, the Duchess mingled with guests at the Governor General reception, before Prince Harry made a speech at the event. The dress, which recently featured on the spring 2019 Brandon Maxwell catwalk, retails for $2,555. The Duchess of Sussex completed her afternoon outfit with her trademark messy bun. She also continued to wear the butterfly earrings and bracelet that originally belonged to her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana. The official first day of the royal tour got off to a flying start, with the couple visiting Taronga Zoo, as well as enjoying a rehearsal of Spirit 2018 by the Bangara Dance Theatre, an internationally acclaimed Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander modern dance company. Departing, the couple were treated to a ride in a gondola giving spectacular views over Sydney Harbour and allowing a glimpse of other animal enclosures, including a curious baby elephant. During the morning's engagements, Meghan plumped for an ivory dress by Australian designer, Karen G., who said she was super excited to get the royal endorsement. Getting some practices in already. Mum-to-be Meghan Markle is seen fawning over music star Missy Higgins' adorable baby girl, after she and Harry meet thousands of overjoyed Australians. She only announced her pregnancy yesterday, but a glowing Meghan Markle has already been seen fawning over an adorable baby girl. The Duchess of Sussex couldn't hide her joy as she chatted with Australian singer Missy Higgins, who was cradling her baby girl Luna, at a reception in Sydney. Meghan made a beeline for the singer, admiring her baby, and chatting at length with the stunning royal telling the song trust she and Harry were excited to join the club. Meghan who is wearing a $2,555 forest green shirt gown by American designer Brandon Maxwell, revealed that she was expecting a baby less than 24 hours earlier. Meghan mingled with guests at the get-together in Admiralty House, shortly after Prince Harry gave a speech thanking Australia for their hospitality and his excitement at being back in the country. At Taronga Zoo, the couple were invited to stroke two koalas and their joeys, who were named Harry and Meghan in honor of the royal wedding in May. Shortly before 1 p.m., Harry and Meghan spend more than their scheduled 20 minutes meeting and greeting the incredibly excited locals as royal baby fever reached the city. Inside the building, Meghan and Harry watched a rehearsal of Spirit 2018 by the Bangara Dance Theatre, an internationally acclaimed Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander modern dance company. They entered to the first performance black that portrays the ochre color of the clay that the dancers would normally be painted in. A group of male dancers performed a powerful dance where they were lifted on each other's shoulders. Please subscribe channel. Thank you for watching.